All right, we're back. I'm actually not eating in this vlog, so that's awesome. We're gonna be putting together a bookshelf. I actually don't know if it's a bookshelf. If it's not a bookshelf, what is it? If you're not a bookshelf, what are you? It's some sort of tiered thing. I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link below in the description. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, do we just pull? Is it a pulling situation? Oh, mother. Ah. I'm doing this wrong, but we're doing it. We're doing it wrong, but we're doing it. It has to be like this. Why am I asking the camera? Okay. Oh my God. Four minutes into filming and we're just spending it trying to open the, the damn box. Okay. Oh my God. It's like super glued. Oh, for God's sake. Six minutes in. So another progress, that's it. We just have flaps. I got nothing else. No. What is it? Ah, look. All right, the seven minute mark, there was foam. This is wrong. I don't, I don't need your judgment. I don't need any of your thoughts because I already know this is wrong. I'm so proud of myself for just opening that damn box. Professor McGonagall. So I need to know what you have. And I already am impressed because like right off the bat, I can see like several that I've read, which is exciting. Okay. Well, I only read 2% of this population. That's okay. okay. Yeah. So let's like, well, how do you think you want to organize it? Do you want to do by like, like the height, color, aesthetic, or like genre or like authors? Um, color I think okay. it's like sort them yeah Goldie Hans oh pretty and this is Thanks. um I want to read that I know I'll, I'll let you know how we do should I put these two together because they're creepy yeah okay and yeah, it's, oh this is like a haunted house situation Ooh. I can let you borrow it I know done woohoo 
this is how to sell a haunted house. I'm still reading it. Sorry. Kind of. I have that. I know. You told me to get it. Did I? I was like, wow, B.A. Paris, so smart. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Excellent yes. choice. Excellent choice. I think I took it from my dad's house when he was moving. The Wind in the Willows. It's like a cute classic. Oh my God, you know it? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh my God, I forgot I gave that to you. Both, both of these. Yeah. No, because I was just thinking about like my, I was getting together my favorite books of the year stack and I was like, where is my Riley <laughs> Final Girls. Oh, love her. And I don't own it. You want it? No. All right. Cerulean C, <laughs> still didn't finish it. Yeah. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. I did not oh, like it. No. We both agreed on that one, kind of. But I have, I have, I got the newest one from him and I'm like not willing to read it. Stop. <laughs> The Lives of Puppets. I mean, it's a pretty edition. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, but like, I don't want to because <laughs> that was so disappointing. I have to go into it prepared that the story will not begin until chapter 10. <laughs> like, just one of my cutie sweet girls I used to supervise cute. got me this. Nowhere for a very long. That's so I cute. I believe it's a, um, it's like a, um, a nonfiction, like about someone's life. Oh, I think we're embarrassed. Zach Bagels. <laughs> that's not embarrassing. That's awesome. <laughs> when are we going to no. Vegas? Is it just awesome for us? And then it's embarrassing. I mean, for life. we need to go. We do need to go. I'm just going to say it. Hear me out. For the content. <laughs> content. I don't know why I have this. Squirrel Seeks Chipmunk. David Sedaris. Oh my God, you know? He's like a comedic author. I've not read anything by him, but he has like all of these comedic books, apparently. Huh. Check that out. This one I still haven't finished, but it was really good. House of Furies. Oh. Really good. I just, I don't know why I didn't finish it. Madeline Rowe. Rue. Has like a creepy, see the girl like on the staircase. Like she's like. Oh, I love that. Is it haunted house vibes? Yeah, it super looks haunted like. house vibes. Yeah, it's House cool. of Furies. Okay, the last one. Oh, is... and it's book one. Is it a series? Apparently. Seriously? Seriously, there are. Then it's Court of Shadows, and then Tomb of Ancients. Oh my goodness! This last one is hysterical. Stop. So she's a magazine, so I don't even know if she belongs here. She can belong there. Do you want to see them? Yeah. So what are your piles? Does that help you? Perfect. Yeah. So, this so we have like thriller horror, right? Yeah. Which you could probably put Verity with that too. These are like my whimsy, whimsicalness. Your whimsy. <laughs> what is, where does she go with the whimsies? Yeah. She's whimsical. Lindsay, um, I guess this can go with Pam and Goldie. Yeah. Perfect. You really so, have to be doing this right here. This is where it, this has to be. <laughs> Probably because the most you have, obviously, is thriller horror. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't, Caitlin, I can't lose my mind. <laughs> Why? The, I would say go like heavier on the books on the bottom shelf and lighter on the yeah like top one. And we'll all be your thriller horror with the uh, Needless Street one facing out. Oh, I like it already. And then would Needless go in the middle face out or like to the side face out? Side only because you're also going to do Pam and you don't want both of them in the middle. You um, might need to to keep it uh dirty <laughs> the riley sager maybe move to yeah that move to next to needless street oh yeah right what is it about needless street that looks so good facing out well it's also a book that you love right like 
So it's, I, yeah, most of the books that I have facing out are favorites, except for the occasional one where it's just like, I just really like the cover. Mm -hmm. Like that one. <laughs> Did not like that book, but I love the cover. Okay, both. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe put the like paper back in between in the middle. That might be a little more stable. <laughs> what I would do is like maybe do a stack of some of them. And them like this way. Yeah. What? Yeah, like I do. What is this sorcery? You just, <laughs> where did you? What? Yeah. Oh, I just, you're just too cool for me. <laughs> okay. 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 See? Okay. See, really, for Christmas? <laughs> that? Mm hmm. You could also put Goldie on top of her standing up, facing out. Uh, not Goldie. Sorry, Pamela. Are you effing kidding me? You <laughs> really understand it. You do. I just, you just get it. Look at that. Are you effing kidding me? Beautiful. Beautiful. So you want to, yeah, slide that one. And then you could do that and have it like, yeah, like pushed in so it doesn't, yeah, perfect. So they don't fall. What is that? I'm pointing like you can see. Yeah, what is that? Handle. Okay, so what if you, hear me out, if you moved either the candle or the thing that's on the left side of that shelf down, and then you put like two more books above and you could have Cerulean facing out there, or Pamela facing out there. Okay, okay, so, okay, so take this down, possibly put Pammy up here. Right. Okay. Because they're like. This is a very classy look. Pretty classy. Yeah. Oh, Perfect. I just love it. I just Perfect. love it. Perfect. Um, these guys over. I would do, I would do, yeah, I would do maybe do the blue book on the end and then Cerulean facing out and then the rest of them. that this you're not digging it mm -mm. I think it's too um it's too like it's too there's it's too busy maybe it needs to be more simple that's a good point okay what if you do another stack hear me out <laughs> yeah yeah so maybe stack those three where the Tuscan sun is right now. Cute. I like that. You like that? Okay. You could try cerulean on top of that facing or next to it. That I like a little bit better. Yeah, I think I might too. I do like right up against it. Or do we do we do like a little further away from it? So it'll blend maybe Verity. Wow. Okay. <laughs> do we need another one? Or are we okay? With no, I think that's good. I like how it goes like this. That makes me happy. The sizes. Oh, yeah. Move that Riley over. This guy? Yeah. No, that the first one. What? The only one left. What? Is that That's the title? Cool. Huh? That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> this is who's on first. Yeah, I can see. Where do you want me to put it? <laughs> it's only one left on the side. And then you may need to get a bookend or two to like ensure that they stay straight. It's off center. 
Damn it, I knew it. Damn it, I knew it. Okay, one more switch. The Riley Sager, um, the house on the lake one. Put that on the other side of Needless Street. Don't ask me why. No, I'm seeing why. (laughs) (laughs) Because I don't even know if this makes sense. You know what? It does. (laughs) Now, here's the most important part. And again, this is the OCPD in me. I make damn sure, because I think it makes your bookshelves look amazing when you do this, that every book is lined up. So no matter what size it is, that they're all like even across. How do you do that? You just have to like choose how close you want them to the edge and then make sure that it's like the same all the way across. I think that makes all the the edge. What? (laughs) I'm trying to (laughs) <laughs> what I'm trying to see if yours are to the your edge yeah so like it depends like this is probably half an inch right yeah I think this is really good I love it I was just gonna say if you want to put the candle back up with Pamela you could put the picture down there or put the picture and the candle down there or like you have room for both technically a poster but I can do a coaster and a candle right or you could do the coaster in the picture. Coaster should be up there because. Oh, because of reaching purposes. <laughs> that makes more sense. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Look at it. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Um, I don't know if I did anything. <laughs> this is literally. This is your love letter to me. You don't have to get me anything for Christmas because here you're like perfect. Because <laughs> I wasn't planning on <laughs> Oh. So. All right. That's going to have to go on the coffee table. And that's going to be a coffee table read. And we're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. I'm like, hear me out. I stack it by your bedside. <laughs> oh, it's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love it. So cute. So cute. Take it away, take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get.